Well, a new Iowa poll shows Republican candidate Nikki Haley is gaining ground in our state. She came in at 11 percent. That's third behind Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis right now. In an interview you'll only see on KCCI, chief political reporter Amanda Rooker spoke with Haley about her first trip to Iowa since the GOP debate. Scott, Nikki Haley saw a bump in support after a standout performance in the first Republican debate. Her campaign says they raised more than a million dollars in less than 72 hours following the debate. And the first 24 hours after that night, the campaign received more online grassroots donations than any other single day. But it's been almost a month since then. In our one on one interview, I asked Haley how she can turn that national momentum into more widespread support in Iowa. People packed in a Jethro's diner to hear former UN ambassador Nikki Haley. So when I see rural Iowa, it reminds me of where I grew up. State Senator Chris Knoyer helps lead Haley's Iowa operation. She says growing crowds signal growing momentum. Every grassroots event that I've been to has been standing room only. So um, I think that her her message is really resonating. Others like leaders of Iowa's Faith and Freedom Coalition point to moments on the debate stage. You got quite a bit of buzz, quite a bit of uh, excitement that came out of the first debate. Like when Haley called for compassion and consensus on abortion a message she brought to Iowans over the weekend. Can't we all agree that no woman that has an abortion should get a prison sentence or the death penalty? Let's start there. Because if you go and you put these restrictions that make people demonize each other, I'm not going to be a part of the demonizing. We have to humanize this issue. Since July, Haley has nearly doubled her support in Iowa. That's according to a Fox Business poll released Wednesday. It shows Haley breaking double digits, polling in third at 11 percent. But Trump is still dominating the state. How do you overcome Trump's lead nationally and here in Iowa? I think you can see on the ground already, Iowans are looking at their options. We saw that in the massive um, viewership at the debate. We see that in our town halls. No one's talking about Trump. They're talking about what we're going to do for the country. And we're going to keep talking about that. Haley's strategy to maintain and build support shaking every hand and putting the miles in. Get used to this face. I'm going to keep showing back up. <laughs> but she's not committed to campaigning in all 99 counties. Instead, she says she's taking her message to as many Iowans as she can. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. The momentum is there. We're going to keep building on it. And I think at the end of the day, we're going to see by the time January comes around, it's going to be a totally different situation. We asked Haley's campaign how many Iowans have committed to caucus for her, but they declined to share those numbers. Scott.